Sometimes in Blender, you want to quickly place a bunch of duplicates of an object on top of another mesh, such as our grass or rocks here, or maybe trees or other things. So there's a few main methods of doing this. For one, you could just do it manually. Another option is to use particle systems and set it to hair and then set the display from path to object, which is great in certain situations, but isn't quite as quick as this option here. So in this video, we're gonna use the scatter objects method. So to scatter objects, you gotta go to edit preferences, go to your add-ons and search for scatter objects and just enable it here and then hit save preferences. Now that you got it enabled in object mode, you will have the options in the top right corner under this little menu or in your options panel at the bottom of any of your other tools options. To use object scatter, you simply select an object, which will be the object that you are going to scatter, and then select with shift the object that you are going to place on top of. And then just hit F3 to search and search for scatter objects. And now I can go and draw a little line and it will randomly place your object around this line. And if I hit enter, you'll see that it randomly placed these grass meshes around. Now I can select multiple meshes before the final one which you place on. And now if I have both of these selected and quickly did some, you'll see I also got some rocks placed in and grass because it uses both of these. We got some settings here. So if I hit it again, F3, scatter objects, and paid it in. We got density, which will make more or less of them. We got radius, which determines how far away it can get from your line. We got scale, which determines the size. We also got a randomness with the scale, which can make things more or less random. So as you can see, if I turn it way up, you got ones that are a lot smaller, ones a lot bigger. If I turn it all the way down, they're all gonna be exactly the same size. We got rotation, which determines how much it can rotate. We got offset, which will move it away from the mesh. And we got seed, which is the random seed, which will just choose a different random option. So you can maybe find a placement that's a little bit better if you just go and scroll through here. And I can hit enter. Now you might notice some little triangles around that were placed by object scatter. And this is because of how object scatter works. So if you look in your outliner, you'll see that under your collection, there's now a scatter collection made, which is gonna have a grass copy, which is a copy of your original mesh, and then also a duplicator, which is the little triangles. Now these triangles determine, if I go into edit mode, where the grasses are gonna be placed. And if I move this out, it'll get bigger, move it in, get it smaller, if I grab this whole triangle, I can move it around, scale, rotate. As you can see, it's just placed based off the normal of the mesh. Now how this works is if you go into your object square tab and look at the instancing bit, you'll see that it has faces and then it will display an instancer. If I set it to none, it doesn't instance. If I set it to faces, it copies vertices, I'll do it on all the vertices. And it will determine which mesh based off of in the mesh that I'll copy, it will have under relations, it will have a parent of duplicator. So if I hit X, it'll stop. And if I maybe want to the ground and set that as the parent, you'll see that it will place all the grounds around there. So now you might be wondering how you can apply these into an editable mesh and get rid of the triangles. So if I go and select my duplicator here and hit control A to apply and use make duplicates real, it will place all of the duplicates in their own separate mesh. These are leaked duplicates. So if I tab into one, all of them will be edited. So now I can get rid of the original grass copy, which is just placed in the middle, or I don't have to. And I can go and search for the duplicator and I can delete the grass duplicator. I could also grab the rocks duplicator and simply hit control A, make duplicates real. 
and then delete the duplicator. This was Mr. TriPi, and if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and comment to help my channel grow. Thank you.